Now what you say? Now what you say? Now what you say? Now what you say? You original, you not a cop. Hey y'all, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's your girl, Mickey J. I'm back. Leo season. <laughs> Before we get to that, let's go ahead and conclude cancer season right, as I'm going to, because that was my season. I had fun for my birthday. Hey. Um, sorry that my video for Capricorn New Moon was kind of all over the place. I don't think here, let me just I'm like, I don't think my ancestors and guides like when I'm trying to help or advise people while I'm on vacation. So I think that's why they had me scattered all over the place. That was their message to say. Eh. You're going to have to wait on this one, so I apologize, but I'm here now. Uh, Capricorn and Cancer are all about the management of emotional maturity. What they do, there's a reason why we have the sun in one sign and then the full moon and it's complementary or opposite because they're there to, as a balancing act for each other. So while Capricorn is all about grounding and getting the job done, Cancer is all about making sure things flow fluidly. And... What that means is that it means that a lot of people have some emotional work and a lot of maturity to get through, a lot of intuition work and things like that. And I'm disappointed because there are a lot of people that are just like, oh, cancer season is just about sadness and this, that. Let's just get to Leo season. Yeah, let's party. Yeah, fire, raw. But that's the problem with Leo energy. Prideful. And I know this just because Leo touches my Mars point and my South Node. And the South Node, we'll get into that later, is all about the gifts that you brought from previous lifetimes into this one and what you would use to ascend to your highest self, which opposite of Leo is Aquarius. Aquarius is all about, not about pride, obviously. This is about the detachment from things that are just too much, too much Leo, the overdramaticism, things like that. I'm not trying to down Leo energy, but there's a reason why you go through phases in cancer season so that you're ready for the sunshine. It's no wonder that people rush through cancer season, rush through these phases, trying to get to the sunshine, and then wonder why they're cleaning up in Virgo season. Also a reason why... A lot of people dread the back to school rush that goes on in August because they were too busy goofing off in summertime and not doing what they were supposed to be doing. You know, again, rushing their healing, essentially. You need to go through all these phases properly in order to feel whole again. The moon, the moon and sun work in tandem with each other. And the sun is not going to you're not going to have a really bright Leo season or the sun is not going to shine the brightest for you. If you're out there just trying to skip these phrases, that phrases, phases, because you think it's party time. That's why cancer season lasts as long as it does. Sorry, Lils, you, you kind of did that to yourself. <laughs> so with that, don't let pride get in your way. It's OK to have a big heart. It's OK, Leo, to shine and you know, be brilliant and exude all that at light because you are a regal sign. But once it's prideful, not necessarily so appealing anymore. That's why people don't look forward to when it's 100 degrees. I've never in the history heard somebody go, hell yeah, woo woo, it's 100. Everybody's like, hey, shit. And then you're going to feel like the moonlight stole its shine from you. I was about to say something about that. Um, I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> there are some Leos that don't like cancers very much. They're like, well, it's a cancer is ruled by the moon. And they're like, well, you stole my shine. Um, nobody wanted to deal with all that hot mess you brought out. No wonder they, they're more happier to see the moon than happy to see you. Most people are happy to see the sunshine, but too much of one thing is not necessarily good. Don't let pride get in the way. So Aquarius, um, I don't mean to get into Aquarius energy or anything. It asks us to detach from that and really 
but you know, turn it, tone it down a bit because we are going to have a full moon in Aquarius during the season, so you need to watch out for that. Um, that's pretty much all I have. Um, it's just to encourage you guys, you do have to do that emotional work. There is no way you can skip those phases. Otherwise, I mean, you're going to keep going through the same cycle over and over and over and over until you get the lesson right. That's why you find people in all these repeat situations because they did not do the work and they spend the rest of the astrological season depressed. That's why you see a lot of people depressed around the holidays too, because they didn't allow themselves to go through the phases and the work required to reach their nirvana and their happiness. So you guys need to be very mindful of that. I don't know why Bear came to, I didn't even get a chance to shuffle these cards yet, but I usually go by first instinct, whatever I see. The Bear. Integrity, compassion, clarity, self-reflection, contemplation, single-mindedness, self-discipline, prosperity, and enterprise. There's a reason why that came up, especially with the introspection needed in order to be your shiny, you know, in order to shine your brightest, to be your highest and best self. Without that, you're just going to keep having shitty seasons and shitty summers. Um, I want to draw something about some self-care here. To close this out, this would be my shortest one because I mean, I'm just kind of led to do this during my split shift. And <laughs> why does rejuvenation keep coming up? Get a good night's sleep, rejuvenate your body, mind, and spirit. Sunshine is also a very healing aspect. And a lot of you, again, you're, you're not doing the work, you're not taking the rest. A lot of you guys in Cancer season two got um, sick or had to rest or got delayed a bit because. It is, oh, party, 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 party. And it's just like, you got to chill for a little bit. You can still party. You could also still party during cancer season. I did, shoot, <laughs> before that, uh, all that high temperature came in. But mm, you don't do that. You're just going to keep setting yourself back even more. Rest, rest and relax. Release guilt and make your need the top priority. Also, a lot of people overdid the cancer energy too, and they poured all that water and abundance into other people instead of pouring it into themselves. That's what Capricorn energy was all about. Taking credit for your work. Leo can be prideful about that too. Um, just being too big hearted about other people's problems and getting wrapped up in them instead of taking the Aquarian approach and detaching from those unnecessary attachments. Let them figure it out. That's a story for another day, though. So, <laughs> see, I just keep drawing all this relaxation. Allow yourself to be lazy. It's okay to do nothing. Sometimes you, you need that time out. It's okay to have a time out. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, that is that is a priority. That is something to be scheduled. Just as much as paying bills, going to work, things like that. Self-time is a priority. You need somewhere to recharge and clear shit. Clear the clutter when in doubt, throw it out. When you're clearing the clutter, you make space for all those good things you're trying to get to. Otherwise, if there's no space for it, again, you're going to be in Virgo season cleaning up. And you're, again, you're going to have a shitty season. So I don't know why these cards are pulling up, but I'm going to go ahead and stop right there. Again, um, y'all ever need anything, y'all call me. Y'all know where to hit me up at. Also, a few announcements. I know my channel's been all over the place, and I do apologize for that. I've been on the same road as you guys, clearing the clutter. There's stuff I haven't been doing and steps I haven't been taking either. So I got to take the hit and responsibility for not taking the time as well. So with that being said, most of my videos going forward will begin with a spoken word piece or something artistic that I have to share in relation to the talks or reads I'm going to get into. Sometimes I'll have the advice, sometimes I won't. And, you know, I'm here to essentially deliver art, astrology, and advice. That's why I've broken my channel down to. So, so I hope with this Leo season that I can also tap into my creative energy and get some things going. So, fingers crossed, root for me here. Cheer me on, send your good energy and blessings and things. And I'll let you guys know when I finish up or You'll just see progress. Take care. Bye.
know you look good. You know you look good. You know you look good.